It's uh, Thursday, February uh, 11th, 2016. It's uh, 9 o'clock London time, so 4 a.m. New York time or Eastern Standard Time. Um, very interesting developments this morning in the uh, financial markets. Uh, mostly, I think, uh, in response, a bit in response to uh, uh, Fed Chairwoman Janet Yellen's uh, testimony to the U.S. Uh, Congress, to the House. Uh, and uh, the markets prior to that testimony yesterday, it came, I think it was, you know, around in the morning, uh, New York time. Uh, the markets prior to that were stronger. The Dow was up almost 200 points. You know, uh, people were expecting uh, Janet Yellen to throw a bone to the market and admit that the economy was weakening and that uh, implied that they would stop raising rates. But she didn't do any of that. She basically said, uh, yeah, we still, we are watching the markets closely. We have seen that the uh, you know, financial markets are a little bit more volatile, but, you know, you know, the economy is still sound. Uh, according to her, you know, unemployment uh, is still low, below 5%. So she didn't, uh, you know, change almost anything she said or the FOMC said after their December uh, rate hike. So that disappointed the market and the Dow finished, uh, I think, uh, over a hundred about down 111 or something like that the s p finished slightly down on the day only about one or two points um but this morning though uh, as i speak right now at uh, nine o'clock london time it, the dow is down 264 points or 1.6 percent at 15,650. the uh, s p is down 30 points or 1.6 percent at 1820 and I noticed yesterday when the uh, S&P was rallying, we got up above 1880. And that was supposed to be a key level. We got up, the high was 1882 and it failed. Um, something that uh, I'd like to talk about as well, of course, is precious metals. Uh, in my previous video uh, a few weeks ago, I said I gave the uh, technical levels in gold, you know, 1191 to 1200. And I had a feeling, you know, that if we broke through 1200, uh, you know, if it didn't stop there, it could go very quickly. And we've got that today, uh, even though with gold, you never know uh, what's going to happen. But we're up $20 at 1217 uh, gold, the gold price. The low was 1194 overnight, and we've gotten up to 1220. And uh, the other uh, interesting thing uh, that I'd like to talk about is the dollar yen. You know, despite the Bank of Japan having surprised the markets and cutting rates to negative last week, I think it was last week, yeah, they cut it from 0.1 to down 0.2, negative 0.2. You know, prior to that, uh, Kuroda, the Bank of Japan governor, he'd been in Davos uh, in Switzerland. He said, no, we're not going to have negative interest rates, and they did. And you'd expect, you know, with negative interest rates in Japan, uh, that the uh, yen would be clobbered. But no, it's going the other way around. Uh, I mean, the dollar is really, really, you know, you look at this chart of the dollar, it's really collapsing against the yen. And, uh, you know, the yen is used as a carry trade currency. And what that means is because the yen has had low rates for, you know, decades, near zero, what financial speculators, investors do, uh, they borrow in yen because it's very cheap and they invest in other assets that yield more. And uh, the reason they do that with abandon and they've been doing it with abandon is that the Bank of Japan is keeping this policy of, you know, devaluing the yen. And that's worked for the last few years. But now, you know, ever since they cut rates to negative, for some reason, you know, the dollar has turned completely or the yen is, you know, gone through the roof kind of, uh, you know, from above 120. We're now 111.30 in a matter of uh, less than two weeks. Uh, that's a huge move uh, in the uh, yen. And uh, I think 
you know, that's another signal that all is not well with the financial system. The fact that the yen is going up so much. You're going to have a lot of people out there who've done these carry trades. You know, they're financing in the currency that's going up. That's not good, you know, because it's like the old story of people in Eastern Europe who financed uh, their mortgages with Swiss francs because the rate was really low. But then when the Swiss francs soared, they got screwed. So that's another thing that's really interesting. The other thing that I noticed, I listened to that testimony a little bit yesterday, and it's a bit boring, I, I would say, and some of the questions are quite irrelevant. Um, I noticed two things, though, that were interesting. Uh, a lot of the uh, African-American representatives pointed out to Janet Yellen that despite unemployment being, you know, 4.9, you know, black or African-American unemployment rate is a lot, lot higher. And they said, why can't you do something about it? And she said, no, we don't focus on demographics. But I noticed there's a lot of dissatisfaction among, you know, the African-American representatives. And almost all of them asked about that question. And they, you know, and another one of the African-American uh, representatives said, said something really interesting, you know, uh, if you store, if you uh, rob a convenience store, you know they put you in jail. But if you rob three hundred million people, they give you a cocktail. Basically, he was saying, you know, people are getting angry. You know, the bankers they robbed the country blind, but they've been, you know, rewarded for it. But if, if you rob a Seven Eleven and you steal like a a Coke or a burrito, they put you in jail or shoot you for that matter. So that was interesting. The other uh, point I wanted to make uh, was uh, there was a representative, I think, from Wisconsin, Sean Murphy, and he's been trying to get the Fed to release information uh, on a leak that the FOMC, you know, there was a leak from the FOMC about monetary policy or rates to one of the Wall Street banks. And I wonder which one that was. Goldman Sachs, maybe? I can't say, but... Just a wild guess. But anyway, they, he's been trying to get these documents for a year. Sean Patrick, uh, what's his surname again? I've uh, forgotten now. I just said it. But this representative said, I've been looking for these documents for a year and you can't give it to me. And uh, I thought, that's really interesting. And, sh and he said, you know, we, we subpoenaed these documents. And you're saying to me that... It's sensitive because it could move the markets. And, and he said, it's got nothing to do with the markets. It's to do with the leak, you know? And, uh, at, and then he asked, if you're not going to give me documents, exert your privilege. Tell me what legal authority you're not going to, why you're not going to provide this to us. And it looks like, you know, Zero Hedge caught that as well. And they've done a story about this. Uh, representative Sean Patrick Duffy, that's his name, Duffy, and a uh, good Irish name, Sean Patrick Duffy. But, uh, you know, Zero Hedge is saying here, here's the exchange that left a stunned Janet Yellen looking like a deer in the headlights. So maybe, you know, we never know. This could be more than just a market incident. Maybe, you know, People are going to realize maybe the Fed is a criminal institution. And I mean, she couldn't answer this representative and she just like fobbed, fobbed him off, you know. And uh, he said, what under what legal authority can you, you know, re refuse to give me, you know, uh, these documents, you know, under subpoena. And he said, what if you're on this on the other shoe, you know, and you're trying to investigate a bank and you ask them for information it took them a year to give it to you what would you do and she said oh we would we work closely to try to you know, get cooperation she didn't really answer the question so yeah fed seems to be losing credibility not only uh in the management of monetary policy and the markets which people expect them to manage i don't but but they're also losing credibility uh, politically and maybe legal, legally, even though this is just one representative and she's been able to, you know, f for a year, she's been able to like evade this uh, demand. 
So yeah, some interesting things going on. So right now it's uh, 10 past nine. So the gold is 1218. Uh, the Dow is down 280 at 15630. Uh, so it looks like, you know, yesterday we had a big rally in Deutsche Bank, mainly because people were saying they're going to buy back some of their bonds. And there are rumors as well, excuse me, that the ECB <clears throat> was going to start buying Deutsche Bank stock. You know, so there was kind of a, what people call in the markets a dead cat bounce. So it looks like that cat was dead. Uh, so it will be an interesting day today. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.